Hi, if you're facing moderation issues with your landing pages and trying to push something triggering welcome because without cloaking you won't succeed. In this video, I'll explain and show you in detail what cloaking is, how to use it and why cloaking house is the perfect working solution. What is cloaking? No fluff, just simple examples. Cloaking is a method of disguising your traffic from moderation where the same landing page is displayed differently. That is, for the target user, the offer page and for moderation, the white page. Thus, thanks to cloaking, moderation sees a white landing page with nothing triggering or violating advertising policies. And on the offer page, target users see the product landing page from which you'll receive leads, meaning money. Now, let's create a flow together and set up cloaking integration on your hosting. I warn you, setting up cloaking in Cloaking House can be very simple and without any extra hassle. So be careful, my friend, don't complicate things. Let's go. So what do we need? First, a Cloaking House account. If you're watching this video, you probably already have a registered account. If not, it will literally take 10 seconds. Second, we need hosting that supports PHP version 7.4 and above, a domain name, and a white page, which is the clean landing page without triggers that cloaking will show for moderation. Now let's start the setup. First, we'll put your white page on your hosting and domain. Where to get the white page from though? No need to go far, just go to the tab and generate a white page. I've already generated mine and deployed it on the hosting. Next, we go to the hosting and open the file manager to upload your white page files. The landing format can be either PHP or HTML, it doesn't matter for the cloaking to work. Now let's check if the white page is working properly. To do this, we just need to go to the domain name in the browser and see our white page, which we just placed in the hosting file manager. Now it's important to go back to the file manager and rename the root index.html or index.php file of our white page. If you're working with a PHP file, rename it, for example, to site.php. Accordingly, if the file format is HTML, rename it as site.html. Why is this necessary? To avoid any conflict of two index files when integrating cloaking. Done. Now let's go back to the cloaking house admin panel and create a new flow. Click on create flow. Give the flow a name, any name you like, for example, the name of your offer and the rate you receive for an approved lead. Below in the white page tab, you need to specify exactly the name of the index file we just renamed on the hosting, that is site.html here, and choose the load method to load the white page from the hosting. Now, below in the offer page tab, specify your affiliate link or URL of the page with your offer, which without cloaking, moderation would definitely not approve and would ban. In my case, for testing, I will use the YouTube URL and accordingly choose the redirect method. Click continue and move on to the second stage, setting up filtering. Let me explain in detail what each filter is responsible for so you can set everything up according to your task. So, the cloaking filter. Usually this filter is not turned off because if the filter is off, cloaking won't work and moderation will land on the offer page. Blacklist IP filter. This filter triggers when the system previously noticed unwanted transitions from a specific IP address. Block transitions from VPN and proxy filter. This filter triggers when the client's IP address is identified as a proxy server, meaning cloaking will block everyone using VPN or proxy. Block transitions from IPv6 filter. The filter triggers when the client's IP address is identified as IPv6. Block transitions without ISP. It's triggered when it's impossible to determine the internet provider. Block transitions without a referrer filter. This filter triggers when it's impossible to determine the client's referrer or the client transitions via a link directly inserted into the browser's address bar. When this filter is activated, the client is shown the white page. Let me explain what a referrer is in simple terms. It's like a note saying, I came from such and such a page. Let's move on to more detailed settings of your cloaking link. Number of clicks from one IP per day. In this parameter, you can specify the maximum number of transitions from one IP per day before the visitor is forcibly redirected exclusively to the white page. I leave the value at zero, meaning the number of clicks from one IP per day will be unlimited. Number of clicks before filtering. This is a parameter where you can specify the number of clicks after which cloaking will start working. Those visitors within the click limit you set will be redirected exclusively to the white page. I'll also leave the value at zero so the filter is ignored. Filter by allowed countries. In simple terms, here you enter the countries allowed to land on your offer page. All other geos will be redirected to the white page. Let's say the geo of my offer is Poland, so let's choose Poland. Device. 
This filter triggers when it's impossible to determine the client's device based on their user agent, or when the client came from a device not allowed in the flow settings. When this filter is activated, the client is shown the white page. Operating systems. The filter triggers when it's impossible to determine the client's device's operating system based on their user agent, or when the client came from an operating system not allowed in the flow settings. Browser accordingly. This filter triggers when it's impossible to determine the browser on the client's device or the selected browser browser is prohibited. After setting all filters, don't forget to click save. Now let's move on to the third step of setting up the status. Here you can switch the status of your flow, pausing it or launching it. If the flow is paused, all visitors will be redirected to the white page. For example, you can pause the flow and send the landing page for moderation. And as soon as you pass moderation, activate the flow again. This way, cloaking will start filtering visitors according to the previously set filters. Also, a little below, we see a field for entering white IPs. This means here we enter the IPs that will always land on the offer page, bypassing all set filters. Be sure to click save to get a ready flow. Now it's important to integrate the PHP cloaking file into your hosting so everything works as it should. Go back to the flows and download the file of the created flow for integration. Then return to the hosting where we set up the white page and add the just downloaded integration file there. And let me say it once more here. When uploading the white page to your hosting, you initially rename the its index file to site to avoid creating a conflict of two index files. Also make sure both files are in the same directory so cloaking works correctly and like clockwork. With that, the cloaking setup is complete. Now let's test our cloaked link. Open the domain name where we set up our white page. If the white page opens, it means cloaking worked, filtering you out and not letting you onto the offer page as you fell under one of the selected filters set in the flow. If you landed on the offer page, it means cloaking identified you as a visitor allowed to land on the offer page, again, according to all previously set filters in the flow. In my case, as you can see, I landed on the white page. Let's check right now why I was directed to the white page though. Go to the clicks tab and in the filter column, there you can see which filter was triggered and where it sent us. Now we need to check if the offer page loads correctly, but we don't want to change the filters. So how do we do it? Right, we'll add our IP to the whitelist. Copy your IP, go back to the flow step to the third step of the setup and add our IP to the whitelist. Done. Open the domain name and check if we land on the offer page, bypassing all filters. Well, as I said, nothing complicated. Thanks to Cloaking House, anyone can set up reliable cloaking. Thank you for your attention and I wish you successful launches and high ROI, of course. Bye-bye.